for the Boys and Girls Mountain Classic Championship games today. The boys' third place game involved two teams who came close to playing for a classic title. Yes, number three Clay County and number nine Buckhorn both lost by single digits in their semifinal round games. Now the two getting together at John C. Combs Arena for the third place game. Buckhorn scored first here, excuse me, scored the first four points on the game. Then Trey Farmer gets Clay on the board with a three ball from straight away. Tigers down one. Both teams couldn't find the basket for nearly two minutes in the first quarter. Then Ryan House splashes in a three pointer, giving Clay the two point lead. Under one minute to play in the quarter. Wildcats down four. Connor Hoskins sinks a three for the Horn Cats within one. Check this out here, Clay trying to hold for the last shot of the first quarter, but they turn it over and Dylan Cole takes it the length of the court, lays it in at the buzzer buckhorn, up one after one. Now, off the Clay County miss, Peyton Cooper, Connor Hoskins, favorite spot on the floor right there, Wildcats up seven, Robert Markham called the timeout, talk it over with Clay County. Now, midway through the second quarter, Hoskins to Shannon Blank, goes high off the glass, Wildcats up four. Trey Farmer, though, dude has range. Straightaway three-pointer. Tigers pull within one. And as we go to the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic scoreboard, number three, Clay County takes home the third place Mountain Classic trophy. They pull away from number nine, Buckhorn, 82-65. Here's Clay County's coach, Robert Markham, after the win. WIMT is, is, is your premier tournament in the mountains, and it's always an honor to play in it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's you play against the best teams in the mountains, so it's a rough game every night. Um, every game we played down here was a battle, so it's just going to make our, our team better uh, for the postseason. That's why I like playing in it. If there was one thing you had to say that your team needs to work on moving forward, and what would that be? Well, focus, really. I mean, because we come out the first half and come out the second half and totally – dominated the second half. You know, that's how we can play when we got our heads on straight and, and playing hard. And, and we, we were just very flat. Uh, I told one of the uh, earlier, uh, the key to the game would be how who's coming out flat, who's coming out with intensity. And uh, 10 points down at halftime, and it was, uh, it was looking bad, but but I, I threw some more clipboards at halftime, and we come out with a little bit more aggressive. So. There were a lot of clipboards thrown in that game. Congrats to Coach Markham and the Clay County Tigers for winning third place. So, not central though is the 2015 WYMT Wayne Supply Mountain Basketball Classic champion. This is how the winner's bracket played out. The top ranked Patriots defeated Harlan County in the first round, then win by five over number three Clay County. And then tonight, not capped off its 3-0 run by defeating Perry Central 56-41 to win the Mountain Classic. And then here is how the girls' winner's bracket played out. Number one, Bell County, once again, the defending Mountain Classic champ with a 47-43 win over number three, Leslie County. The Lady Eagles needed, needed a last-second three by Katie Moore in the first round to send the game to overtime and then eventually beat Harlan, and that's how Leslie made it to the finals. Meanwhile, complete opposite for Bell, the Lady Cats crushed Clay County in the first round by 32 points and go on to beat Leslie to win back-to-back -back classic titles. So what a tournament it was down at Perry Central High School. Clutch shots, an overtime game, and several 30-plus point performances. Here's a recap of the 2015 Mountain Classic in tonight's Lee's Famous Recipe, Hazard and Whitesburg, Full Court Price. The 2015 Wayne Supply Mountain Basketball Classic was yet another emotional roller coaster. A last-second shot by Courtney Woods. <laughs> Clay County wins third place in the girls' tournament. A three-pointer by Leslie County's Katie Moore to tie the game in round one versus Harlan. The Lady Eagles advance in overtime, but then they would fall to Bell County in the championship. Make that back-to-back -back Mountain Classic titles for the Lady Cats after a 21-point performance by UK signee Macy Morris. I know so many minutes was down a lot tonight. I told you it's gonna probably be that way. They're more guardy, more athletic type team. Okay, it's a good thing that we've got those options that we can play people. Good job tonight. Good job. Good job. Tonight. On the boys' side, what a fight beginning in the semifinal round. John Noble's Buckhorn Wildcats gave Perry all they could handle in a gritty, downright physical basketball game. 
But the Commodores get the win, 45-37. Clay County did the same thing to Knott Central. The Tigers held Cameron Justice to just 12 points, but Evan Hall? A little too much. That set up a 14th region showdown in the championship. And once again, the top ranked team in the mountains showed why they're better than everyone else. Cruising past Perry Central 56 to 41. The 28th WYMT Mountain Classic. Another fun one in the books. This has been the Lee's Famous Recipe Hazard in Whitesburg, Full Court Press. What a week. What a fun, fun week. All right, beginning next week, though, at Barberville High School is the 13th Region Girls All-A Classic first round action on Monday at 6. It's Onita Baptist. They open up with Redbird, and at 7.30 p.m., it's Lynn Camp and Middlesbrough. And Tuesday at 6, Williamsburg plays defending champion Harlan. And the final first round game Tuesday at 7.30 features Barberville and Pineville. The, champ is scheduled, or the championship is scheduled for next Friday at 7 p.m. The boys 13th region All-A will be played at Harlan High School and it also begins on Monday at 6 o'clock Barberville plays OBI and at 7.30 p.m. Middlesbrough plays the host Green Dragons on Tuesday. At 6 p.m. Redbird plays Williamsburg in the nightcap on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Pineville battles Lynn Camp like the girls final. The boys final is also scheduled for Friday at 7 p.m. again at Harlan. Also beginning on Monday, the 14th Region All-A Classic Tournaments. First, a look at the girls' bracket. Lee County and June Buchanan play with the winner advancing to play Hazard on Tuesday. The other playing game is Jenkins at Buckhorn. They will play Monday at 6 p.m. The winner will play last year's champion Leslie County on Tuesday. The semifinals and finals will be played on Thursday and Saturday at Perry Central. All right, how about the boys' tournament identical? A little bit at least. Lee County and Jupiter Buchanan Monday at 8 p.m. with Hazard awaiting the winner on Tuesday. Last year's runner-up Leslie County plays on Tuesday versus the winner of Buckcorn and Jenkins who will meet up on Monday at 8 p.m. The boys semifinal round is set for Friday with the championship game to be played on Saturday. All right, up next we go to the college world. Yes, Louisville Cardinals go on the road to Chapel Hill and we'll take a look at some of the scores from our local colleges.